I believe that men have it the hardest when it mm. comes to just life in general because it's like okay. nobody's going to save you. Unless you got rich parents that give you money or whatever, nobody's going to save you. I saw as like us women, if not saying that's who I am, but if one day I don't want to work, I'm sure I can find a dude that's going to take care of me. Absolutely. What up, what up, what up? This is Agree to Disagree, and in this episode... My cat decided to crash the party, and she, uh, I guess, decided that uh, I wasn't going to record this video by myself. So, me and my cat Mittens are going to be giving you some video reviews today. I feel like I'm uh, Dr. Evil when he has his uh, cat on his lap, and he's just like menacingly petting the cat. And then after he reveals his plan, he's like, <laughs> all right guys let's go ahead let's get right into the content is um, dating today in your opinion harder than it's ever been i was friends with my boyfriend before we started dating and i feel like that's a more natural transition than like seeing features on your screen and trying to make a decision based on like a list of things people just try and avoid things because i think they're scared to say things straight up one red flag and you're kind of like oh i can go find somewhere else you don't need to have one person when you could have like five honestly i don't know i've had really bad luck <laughs> so everything <laughs> like i've been treated like shit i think a big part of it is because of social media people see a lot they expose to a lot they're always looking for better 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 everyone is always looking for the best thing and they always think something else is around the corner and you almost have too much access to too many people the reason why dating is so difficult today is because everyone just wants to keep things casual and they want to keep their options open. But eventually you have to just pick one person and say, okay, I know you're not perfect and you don't have everything that I want, but you do have a lot of the traits that I desire out of a partner. And so let's go ahead and try to make this work and kind of build from there. Because if you're looking for the perfect person, you're never going to find them. But if you find someone who's willing to compromise and is willing to work with you, that's when you start to get those long sustaining relationships. But it takes work. It's not just gonna fall into your lap. Here's the thing. We as women definitely cannot resist the bad boy. Why? Because he comes in with confidence. All right. He comes in saying things. He's you could tell he has an air of understanding women to a certain extent. He speaks womanese. That's what I call it. He's familiar with women. And you can tell by his demeanor that he doesn't just he's not just talking to you. OK, he's got a roster and women like men that are desired by other women. I don't care what a woman says. If a man is desired by other women, he's automatically more attractive. Let's be real. Also, bad boys have the air of being able to protect like they're gonna fight that they're gonna be able to if something was to go go down they got your back they're gonna be able to make sure that you are safe there's a sense of safety that a woman feels and lastly bad boys are not stunting you okay you know they've got other women and that is what makes them more appealing they're not tripping on you if they lose you they got others and mm. i know a lot of you guys are not going to like what she said there but what she said was 100 percent true Look, I don't get mad when women tell me what they want. I listen. I don't get upset that they want a certain type of man. But they have to understand and they can't get upset if I want a certain type of woman. And if you choose a partner based upon shallow, artificial reasons, then you just have to live with the consequences. But fellas, if you're ever wondering why women are not into you, it's because you don't fit the mold. If being a nice guy isn't working for you, it's because they're not looking for a nice guy. I hate to say it, but if you want to pull most of these women, you got to have a little dog in you. Oh, I'm not trying to scare you, man. <laughs> I believe that men have it the hardest when it mm. comes to just life in general because it's like okay. nobody's going to save you. Unless you got rich parents that give you money or whatever, nobody's going to save you. I saw as like us women, if not saying that's who I am, but if one day I don't want to work, I'm sure I can find a dude that's going to take care of me. Absolutely. Just for that, I'm like, yo, I'm kind of lucky to be a woman. Ooh. And I'm not saying we don't go through our share of issues as far as like safety and you know stuff like that, but I believe it's harder to be a man at all times.
It's interesting that so many women believe that men have it easy, but there's literally nothing easy about being a man. Being a man is basically living in a society where no one cares about you unless you can provide some type of use. Women have the good fortune of being able to make babies and provide men with sex. So they are born with their value. Men, however, we have to build our value. So if you're a man who doesn't have any skills or talents, society doesn't give two shits about you. Society goes out their way to protect and provide for women. But they pretty much just tell men, hey, you got to figure it out on your own, bro. And uh, I find it very interesting that uh, she mentioned safety as one of the issues that uh, women have to go through. But I'd argue it's just as unsafe for men out here in these streets. I'll give you an example. If a woman was attacked by a man and there's other men in the vicinity, there's a good chance that men will come to her aid to help protect her. But if a man gets attacked by another man, nobody is going to lift a finger to help that man. They, they probably just going to take out their cell phone, record, might even make some jokes. They're probably just going to stand there and wonder why you don't know how to protect yourself as a man. And if you don't believe me, check out these next couple clips. I don't know what that nigga problem is, but he looks like he got do something. Uh -oh. well, who do you think I'll win? It's about to go down. I don't know. Black dude look a little gangster. This dude look a little swole though. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like he's been scrapping since nah, he's been Nah, but dude look like he's gonna pull out the blick. This dude look like he got hands. He this nigga look like he got hands though. Yeah, yeah. Look, oh, they gonna. Oh, come on. 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 Come is anyone going to break up the fight? Nah, they're just going to let him. They're just going to let him duel it out. Cause that's what men do, I guess. And okay, I guess you got uh, his girl over here coming in at the end to kind of break up the fight. That's, you know, what I'm saying that's. I guess if you got a person who you know who you rocking with, who you rolling with, a person who loves you, they might come to help uh, protect you in the fight. But all these other people just standing around, got the cameras out, you know, commenting like they're at a professional boxing fight. But uh, let's see how that would go if it was a woman being attacked by a man. Let's 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 see what happens. You have lost your mind. Don't touch me ever in your life. You touch me first and then you got in my face. Don't ever invade my face. Get out of my face. No, I'm not. All right. No one's intervening so far. Stay out of my personal space. Okay, she's pushing him. She pushed him again. Me. She's touching me. And I'm touching her. She can't put her hands on me. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, stop it. Hey, hey. Oh. All right, that's one. That's two. That's three. Four, four guys came in. Look at this. No, watch out. Look at that. Right, we gonna, we gonna go back. I mean, look, look at this. Okay, stop it! Hey, hey! Look at all those guys came. One, two, three, four, five guys. Five men came in to protect this woman, even though she was the one to hit the man first. You see, is, isn't that crazy how that works? Isn't it very interesting how that works? A man gets attacked by another man. Nobody cares. We sit around. We watch. We make videos. We laugh. We joke. But a woman puts her hands on a man. He hits back. And all of these suckers want to jump in to defend a woman who attacked him first. That's crazy. That's crazy. But that is the world that we live in.
And so <laughs> when you say, you know, uh, you know, men have it easy. Shoot. If, if you're a man, you got to know how to fight because ain't nobody's coming to save you. No one is coming to save you. You got to you got to work it out on your own. You got to learn how to duck. You got to learn how to dodge and you got to learn how to throw some blows back. And look, I'm not sitting here saying that women don't face struggles that men do not have to deal with. But if you think it's easy walking in a man's shoes, you got another thing coming. 90% of the homeless population are men. You can find plenty of homeless shelters for women and children, but men are welcome to just die in the street. We prioritize keeping women safe, but men are four times more likely to die from homicide. Men are also more likely to die by a work-related injury. Men are four times more likely to end their own life. And if all these statistics haven't convinced you that men have it harder than women, men are twice as likely to transition to women than women transition to men. Let that sink into your brain for a minute. If being a man is so great, why are so many men fleeing from being a man? Hey, that's all I got for you guys today. Let me know what you thought of the video. What points did you agree with? What points did you disagree with? Leave your comments below and let me know what you thought. And if you got anything out this video, hit that like button. Peace.